good morning one and all as a part of your computer analysis lab let us try to understand how to solve a bar with central hole problem using solid work so using solid work as well as ansys workbench and the problem uh, the procedure that what we follow in this problem is much different than the other problems what we have solved till now here the model is created or the geometry is created using solid work software and the same geometry is imported into so uh, ansys workbench for performing the analysis so to create the geometry so the geometry details has been is as shown in the figure where the total length of the bar is 100 mm height is 50 thickness is 30 and there is a central hole with 20 mm dia to solve this problem let us first start with solid works in solid works you can just go to new create a part select the front plane and go to sketch now take the rectangle by center point option draw a rectangle then give the dimension as 100 mm as the length 50 as the height and you create a hole or a circle of dia 20 mm when the sketch is done come out of the sketch and now we are going to apply the material or the volume by using the extruded boss option the extruded boss the total thickness of the bar is 30 mm so type 30 and say yes once the geometry has been created in solid works we save this geometry in appropriate folder by giving the name as bar with hole and the same thing is saved in igs format the igs is the interactive format where the components can be can import the components or the models in any of the other softwares so select the file type as igs give the name as bar with hole and say save once the model is created the next step is to import the model in the ansys in the ansys workbench and apply the appropriate material load conditions boundary conditions and discretize the model and then solve for the unknown unknown results so to import the model let us launch the ansys workbench select the analysis system as static structural rename the file as bar with hole now define the material in the engineering data by default it is structural steel itself then go to geometry open new design modeler's geometry the geometry will window will be popped up now go to file go to import import external geometry file select the folder where it, where you have saved the model in igs format and say open and generate the model has been import imported into the geometry environment keep the units as in millimeters so it's a solid model what we have created in solid works has been imported into ansys workbench once the geometry has been imported close the geometry window then go to model say edit check the unit systems keep it in millimeters and kg generate the mesh 
right click on the mesh and click on the generate mesh to increase the elements go to default size give the element size as 10 and regenerate the mesh 10 is too big go for 2 generate mesh okay once the mesh has been refined next is to apply the appropriate load conditions go to static structural insert fix support go to face filter select one side of the face and say apply so this face is fixed in all degrees of freedom again static structural insert go to force apply and give the magnitude as Hundred newtons. You can change the direction. You can flip the direction. Since the model has been tensely loaded, the direct the force has to be direct. The force has to act away from the body. Say apply. Now go to solutions. Right click, insert, define the solutions you want. The first one is deformation, total deformation. Again, solutions. The second one is stress, that is, one by six stress. Right click on the solution, click on the solve. The problem is solved. So, to get the total deformation, Select the total deformations to get the equivalent stress. Just click on the equivalent stress. Even you can animate the results by just clicking on the play animation. So this is the procedure used to solve the bar with central hole problem. Thank you.